Becoming familiar with the feel of leather is important in knowing replica from real. Take lambskin handbags. The fabric should have a buttery feel to it, so if it doesn't, it may not be authentic. Scrutinize hardware, screws, and logos. Shallow or loose stitch work is a red flag. Hermes bag feet should not be able to turn or screw, so if they do, you're looking at an imitation. Hermes products do not come with orange authenticity cards, so if you find one in a product you're looking at, you know it's faux. Studying authenticated shoes and their boxes beforehand can help you decipher whether sneakers are real or not. Familiarize yourself with the font and textile of the brands you're looking at, as replicas don't always get them right. Knockoffs will generally have inferior quality and may not be consistent with the brand's look. Uneven finishing on heel tabs, squiggly stitching, inconsistent font types, and partial or incorrect brand slogans are red flags. Also look for excessive glue stains around the midsole, which is a common error in replicas. If inspecting high-end sneakers, grommets on the lace holes are an indicator of higher quality, a detail that imitations might miss. When inspecting a watch to see if it's real, the key elements are fit and finish. Inspect details like printing on the dial, numbers, and bezel screws. How crisp and clean is everything? A raised logo and tight, neat numbers on the dial are good indicators the item is real. How about engravings? Are they raised or printed on to look three-dimensional? This is another instance in which studying brand logos and fonts beforehand will help you to spot errors or inconsistencies. In Cartier watches, look for a secret signature on the dial. There's the big one, then there's a hidden one. If there's no hidden signature, you aren't looking at an authentic piece. If looking at vintage watches, it's expected for tritium, a radioactive isotope of hydrogen, to no longer glow. So if a vintage watch glows, that can be an indicator you're not looking at the real thing. If looking at dive watches, check the bezel. If it moves in both directions, that's a red flag, as dive watch bezels should move unidirectionally. Use more than your eyes to assess jewelry. 18 karat gold will have a weight to it, so feel out the jewelry with your hands. You can find the gram weight of some jewelry online, so a scale can help determine if it's real or not. Any gems need to be scrutinized. In diamonds, look for the four C's, cut, clarity, color, and carat. If you have access to an expert, they may use tools like a moissanite tester, which can decipher a real diamond from a fake better than an untrained eye. Other gemstones can be assessed using a thermal conductivity tester. Some replica jewelry will feature real gold and gems, but that doesn't necessarily mean it comes from a luxury manufacturer. High quality jewelry should be consistent and clean, so design inconsistencies and sloppy craftsmanship are red flags.